Lesson number 22, add and subtract decimals. So adding and subtracting decimals are the exact same as whole numbers. The only important thing you need to know is to make sure your decimals line up correctly. So here it has, what is the sum of 2.07 plus 54 0.84. Now, again, you've got to make sure your decimals are lined up. Decimals here, decimals here. The decimals are right on top of each other. Now, you just add it just like you would normally the column method. 7 plus 4 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. Now, again, make sure your decimal lines up. It's right underneath the other two decimals. 2 plus 4 is 6, and 5 plus 0 is 5. So, you get the answer 56. 0.91. Let's look at another problem, this time with subtraction. So again, the important thing to remember is that your decimals are lining up. So I've got 85.69 minus 19.8. Now, the decimals are lined up right on top of each other. Now, you might look at this and say, wait a minute, I don't see any numbers next to that 8. What's underneath the 9? Well, again, there's a zero there. We just don't write it because it has no value. So always remember, you can always add zeros at the end of decimals. So now we just subtract like normal. 9 minus 0 is 9. 6 minus 8, well, I'm going to have to borrow, all right, from the 5. So 16 minus 8 is 8. I'll have to borrow again, this time from the 8, to give me 14. 14 minus 9 is 5. And 7 minus 1 is 65. So I get the answer 65. 0.89. So again, all of your math is still the exact same. Adding is tried the same. The only important thing is make sure those decimals are lining up. Make sure they're right on top of each other.